welcome to the White House and uh, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. I think back and all this started, but all I can think of right now is that I want to thank you, each one of you, for your service and the Board of Advisors of the Private Sector Initiatives. I've always believed that American people would respond tenfold if only asked to get involved in their communities and lending and helping hand where it was needed. And you've been an effective group in promoting this great tradition. And I want to thank John Phelan for his leadership and dedication as chairman of the Board of Advisors for these past three years. And John, I know you've you've uh, had other few other things on your plate. <laughs> but you gave this program your personal commitment, and I thank you. And I also want to thank Eddie Fritz, Vice Chairman of the Board, for his tireless service and assistance and through the years. And Eddie, uh, I know you have also been a great support to Nancy with her drug pre prevention program, and we both owe you a debt of gratitude for that. And uh, now, I believe that I'm supposed to receive a report from you, John Fayette. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. President. I think that my job really is to thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to personally thank you for the honor and privilege of having an opportunity to chair this group. And I think for so many other things that you've done during your presidency for this country, but particularly for two things that we're involved in, which certainly show the uh, wonderful spirit of, I think, public-private cooperation only when you came to the exchange that time. That's a wonderful business time. And you and your people during the October 87 gave us such magnificent support and encouragement. And I can never thank you enough for that. And I also want to thank you for this board. Um, they've just been a magnificent group of people. Each one of them has believed in the things that you believed in, which are the things that all Americans have believed in since the beginning of our great country. And you really have been our guiding light and our, and our beacon. And it has been your philosophy all during public life about private sector initiatives. And I think we have taken that creed and what we're trying to do is to go out, uh, to get other people to be involved in it, uh, to do it in a whole variety of ways. And I think that under your guidance and under your leadership, we have produced some results. We have the ball rolling, we want to keep it rolling. We look forward to working with the next administration but I must tell you frankly, sir, that we will solely miss you, that you have been our guardian angel. We have always felt that when we've been out there in the field, you've been watching over us directly and through your wonderful staff, uh, Dr. Fred Ryan and all these wonderful young people who are over there. And so I can't thank you enough. And I would like now to ask uh, Rob Mossbacker just to give you a, a brief update on what we've been doing in the recent past. President, I want to add my thanks as well. I've had the privilege of serving on your task force, your advisory council, and now on this board. And uh, thank you again for the great leadership that you provided in this program. Uh, the report we're providing you today is, is broken up into the five committees that have done most of the work. What I'd like to do is touch briefly on uh, some of the high points of those committees' activities over the last three years. I'm going to go through them alphabetically. Communications, which Eddie Fritz uh, chaired, is one that started out with the idea of using the tools of the communication business to expand uh, the awareness of private sector initiatives and the opportunity for people to be involved. And I think probably their top accomplishment has been the C-Flag program, which you participate in every year, which honors organizations and companies for the fine works they do, and by that uh, recognition, hopefully encourages others to do uh, likewise. Their hope and their recommendation for the future is that we increase the number of opinion leaders from the media business uh, that participate in any future boards or activities, and also to hopefully take uh, the C-Flag ceremony and sort of spread it out uh, and spin it off into a foundation which will perpetuate itself. A second committee is corporate community leadership, uh, and the chairman of that's not with us today, George Moody, but the purpose of that group was to try and, and expand corporate community involvement uh, in their communities in creative ways. Uh, we felt we could appeal to two very uh, straightforward interest, one of them being enlightened self-interest and the other one being just to be competitive uh, in the community. Their major accomplishment, I think, has been to strengthen the Sea flag uh, ceremony and program by more creative marketing uh, and expansion and to reach out to graduate business schools uh, to begin to enlist 
young business leaders uh, in the activity of trying to encourage business involvement in the future. Uh, we're at a very early stage of that, but their recommendation for the future would be to try and, and inject private sector initiatives and business involvement particularly into the curriculum of business schools around the country so we don't grab people sort of later in life, but rather uh, move in and grab them earlier in life and have that uh, experience throughout their business careers. A third committee, uh, one that uh, I think uh, you can be very proud of their activities, is the Education Committee, and that's been chaired by uh, Tom Evans. And Tom started out in his committee with a desire to increase awareness uh, and to promote greater business involvement in the educational system. And this is perhaps, in terms of numerical accomplishments, uh, the most impressive uh, increase in activity in the last five years. They've held five partnerships in education symposiums, one a year, going back to 1983. And I think the byproduct of their work is that in 1982, there were only some 42,000 partnerships in education. The latest count is there are over 140,000. So a significant increase. And obviously, they hope for the future to continue the partnerships in education symposiums and continue national recognition of effective, successful partnerships in this area. Fourth committee, public-private partnerships. That's the one I've had the privilege of chairing. Uh, our charge was to highlight examples of successful, creative community partnerships, something we started doing years ago, whether it's the New York City Partners Program or the Houston Committee for Private Sector Initiatives. Uh, we have tried to highlight those through a series of four regional conferences that have been White House-sponsored conferences uh, in four major cities around the country. They were held in Houston, uh, Columbus, Ohio, San Diego, California, and the most recent one just a couple of weeks ago in Stanford, Connecticut. At these conferences, we've had business leaders exchange thoughts and ideas not only about specific problems, but also the structure that you can create involving the United Way and other players in the community to make maximum best use of the interest and enthusiasm people have for committing to help with the cause. The fifth committee, but by no means the least important, is the volunteer committee. And it wouldn't surprise you to know that's been chaired by George Romney, who is synonymous with volunteerism in this country. Uh, George's charge in his committee has been to increase and promote volunteerism uh, through greater recognition of, uh, of great acts that people have done and by strengthening networks. And one of the things that perhaps has helped that the most in terms of the recognition uh, is your present Volunteer Action Awards ceremony each year. Uh, that uh, program started in 1982. Uh, you've given out now uh, 130 of those awards, and it was institutionalized in 1987 by executive order. In 1988, uh, the board of this board here, as well as the boards of action and volunteer, voted to uh, create uh, an annual perpetual award known as the Ronald Reagan Award for Volunteer Excellence, and is given each year uh, to the person who exhibits the special pioneering spirit of innovation that you've exhibited so beautifully uh, throughout these eight years. Their hope for the future is to continue to raise the level of volunteerism and to raise volunteering up perhaps to the level of, of involvement that we've got uh, financial giving, uh, and almost to put it on, on a similar plane. So uh, we all have our work cut out for us, but we're very, very proud of what we've accomplished under your leadership, and thank you. Well, thank you. I, I just want you to know that in addition, we haven't mentioned this, but what this has all meant to worldwide. And uh, you probably are all aware of this figure, but I was astounded not too long ago when I got the figure for cash giving alone, not services and or material or anything, but cash giving alone, 1987, over $94 billion through the United States, volunteer giving. But I have to take a minute, I'm going to take a minute and tell you something here that, about this that happened in this house and why I'm so proud of what's been done now in spreading this worldwide. It was a dinner over in the White House and the wife of an ambassador to a European nation was seated beside me and this side and around the table, our table, had come up a conversation about some private sector initiative, something that was being done. And I heard a quiet voice to my left say, yes, but you're unique. And I turned and it was the ambassador's wife. And I said, well, what do you mean? She said, yes, you do this in your country privately. But she said, only here. You are unique. She said, all the rest of us 
we turn to the government for that. And I've never forgotten that. And then when, uh, as you say, as we all know, it spread, and many of you participated in helping that spread to, uh, around the, the world, and uh, now it's no longer a strange thing. And every once in a while, in meeting with heads of state from other countries, uh, <coughs> mention this change in their own in their own countries. Well, I have something that has to be done here, and it's a great pleasure to do it. <laughs> Steady as she goes. <laughs> This is presented to John J. Phelan, Jr., Chairman of the President's Board of Advisors on Private Sector Initiatives with gratitude and appreciation. And I guess you know who's presenting it. <laughs> Teddy won for settling the Russo-Japanese War. Yeah. And, uh, his family presented it and thought it should be here in this room. And I can't resist, whenever I have to tell someone about it, telling that he won it in good, solid, Republican style. Oh. <laughs> he was sitting on a yacht. <laughs> President, we're about to lose one of our best assets. Bill Cuff is retiring. Well, thanks for everything. I see you have some things along with you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. This is my wife. Yeah, Mary Jo. Mr. President. Thank you. My brother Kathy. Thanks, sir. Our colleague. Colleen. Colleen, right here. 
I have a daughter in law. I really? Yes. You and I are going to step over here by the fireplace for a moment, and then later you are going to turn around here. This citation is to William F. Cuff for exceptionally meritorious service to the White House military office as a Navy enlisted member from March 1961 to November 1973 and as a civilian from November 1973 to January 1989. During this period, Mr. Cuff has provided invaluable service and assistance in the management of Department of Defense assets under the auspices of the White House military office. In recognition of these accomplishments and on behalf of the Department of Defense, it is my pleasure to recognize William F. Cuff by presenting the Secretary of Defense Meritorious Civilian Service Medal. Signed, Frank C. Carter, Chief Secretary of Defense, December 1988. Surprised? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well. Thank you. Thank you again. God bless you. Bye. Bye.